Well, I've got an excellent new soldering iron to show you today, and it's the Keska T12 soldering station. It comes as the main unit, the soldering iron handle, and one tip. I bought this um, soldering stand separately, and the unit requires a power cable, which is this type and I've got several of those so I can plug that one straight in and there are various different packages of the same soldering station on the Banggood site some have more soldering tips in and the power cable it's just depending on the price so like I say this one comes with one soldering tip which is the T12-K and the 9501 handle and the main unit is made of good quality black anodized aluminium. The actual soldering iron has a nice one metre length of soft silicon cable which is nice and flexible and the main unit stands on four rubber feet. On the back of the unit you have the on off switch and there's a little door there which you can prise open to get at the main fuse. Once it's switched on at the back, you press the control knob at the front here to set the temperature. And it is actually an amazingly quick soldering iron to actually reach the temperature that's set. I'll turn mine up now to a certain temperature and it will beep when it actually gets to that temperature. And from cold it is actually literally just a few seconds. I've just turned one of my floodlights off so that you can see the display on there. On the actual Banggood listing it does actually look brighter on um, their one but I can see it clearly in this light. Press this button so you can alter your temperature and then a longer hold on the button to go in the settings and you can go through the various parameters. And there's some amazing different settings on there. You can actually set it um, to standby mode and sleep mode and when you pick up the soldering iron it automatically turns itself on and obviously after a period of time goes into the standby mode and then in the sleep mode with a, a screen saver on the front. And if you actually go on the Banggood listing and have a look at the actual video they've got on this one you'll see what an amazing piece of equipment it is. Uh, the person that's doing the video goes through the um, inside components and the various different um, settings that it has on it. And I think it's an amazing piece of equipment. And to go with this station, I bought this excellent soldering stand. Um, that one fits in there nicely. It doesn't go right the way through. Um, but it's a good little stand and it has a sponge here for um, cleaning the soldering iron and it looks to be made of either pressed steel or pressed aluminium the temperature range is 150 degrees centigrade to 480 degrees centigrade suitable for lead free soldering Input voltage 110 volts to 240 volts. 
and I've done a screenshot of the internal components for you to see and you can see this on the Banggood listing as well plus the dimensions Another thing that I like about this soldering iron is that you can actually get various different shaped tips for it. They're low cost and there's quite a range of them. I've actually ordered all the other shapes and they all come with the uh, actual tip number on this midsection here. So they're easy to identify and you can actually know exactly what you've got. And when I first got this soldering station and plugged it in and turned it on, at first the soldering iron wouldn't heat up and I thought there was something wrong with it. I pulled the tip out again and put it back in and gave it a bit of a twist and then it worked perfectly. It was only a minor problem where the tip wasn't making good contact in the handle and I saw on someone else's video that they had the same thing. So if you do get one of these, turn it on and it doesn't heat up at first. Just give it a pull out from the handle and a twist or whatever to improve the contact in the handle and you'll find it works perfectly. So this is the first modern soldering station that I've actually owned and I've uh, seen all the reviews on it, it's got excellent reviews and the person that did the video on the Banggood site gives it a thorough um, looking over on the internal components and the way it's made it's really well worth actually looking at that video if you look at the video you'll see why I actually got it and I don't think I'll ever need any other soldering station. And for the actual price that they're selling it for, I think it's excellent value for money.